Greetings, everyone. In this lesson, we're going to explore the following task and try to find an answer for it. Uh, what is the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon of n sides? It sounds complicated, but you'll see what this means. First of all, let us remember that a regular polygon is a polygon that has all of its sides and all of its angles congruent. Congruent basically means equal. So if I showed you the angles here, uh, you're going to notice that in this uh, polygon, all of these interior angles are congruent. But what we want to do is we want to be able to understand um, how do you find a formula for that. Uh, if I wanted to measure this angle in Geometry Sketchpad, I would just uh, go to Measure Angle. Uh, and in this case, it is 150 degrees because what I have here is a 12-sided regular polygon called dodecagon, okay? But what we would like to do is to be able to answer this question in general, not for the dodecagon, but in general. So the way we do that is uh, you need the following basic fact from geometry that I trust you remember. If I gave you a triangle, any triangle, the sum of the interior angles of the regular or irregular actually triangle is 180 degrees. You have to know this basic fact. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this basic fact and answer this harder question. So the way we do that is we pick any point in the interior of this polygon and that's the beauty of this, it could be any point, and then you join this point to each of the vertices with segments in this manner and observe the triangles we create this way do not have to be special in any way. All they have to have in common is that they have this point as their common vertex. Okay. Now uh, what I'm trying to figure out is what is the sum of all these angles that I have highlighted here. I'll just I didn't show that again, all of these angles, what is their sum? Because if I can find all of them, their total, it is easy for me to find one of them because I know exactly how many there are, okay? So the way we're going to do that is by this process of triangulation and by using this simple fact from elementary geometry. So what we do is we notice that uh, if I ask you what is the angle sum in this triangle, you would tell me it is 180. And if I ask you what's the sum of the angles in this triangle, you would also say it's 180, etc. So you would notice that all of these angles that we see in the triangles, they're all 180 degree each. So what we need to figure out is how do you remove this part that you do not care about in the center? So the good news about that is this region here is uh, covered by a circle and I think everybody knows that in a circle there are two straight angles 280 degree angles so it is 360. So in a nutshell the idea is this uh, you realize that the interior angle sum uh, is found by multiplying 180 by n because you have n triangles, each of them have 180 degrees in total, and you remove from that grand total 360, which is the middle. Uh, now, when you do the math uh, and uh, you simplify things a little bit uh, using distributive property, you can realize that you can factor 180 uh, and then write this formula a little bit more compactly as 180 times n minus 2. This will allow us then to find the answer to the question we have asked originally. What's the measure of one of these angles? All we now have to do is uh, divide this total that we had, the sum that we have, by n. And if you're wondering why by n, you just have to realize that all of the angles in a regular polygon are equal, and there are n of these. Okay? Um, so here is a formula for one interior angle of a regular uh, n-gon. 
and you could actually tabulate this and this is a very very useful table to know by heart um, you can actually create a table which says give me the number of sides of the polygon if it is three it's a triangle one interior angle of a regular triangle uh, which we also call equilateral triangle is 60 degrees regular quadrilateral four-sided polygon also known as square each of the angles is 90 pentagon 108 hexagon six-sided polygon 120 seven gone and 11 gone are uh, they give strange numbers because when you do the math here things don't divide evenly so uh, seven gone and eleven gone I can't remember this my, them myself but um, the octagon, nonagon, uh, decagon uh, those are nice numbers you should know and definitely uh, the twelve sided polygon dodecagon is hundred and fifty degrees which if you remember we measured earlier and we got that result so for the tasks that we're going to do in the future, it might be beneficial for you to either write down this table uh, of values or better uh, create them yourself uh, using an Excel spreadsheet or uh, using a calculator. But uh, it is going to turn out to be incredibly uh, useful when we create uh, regular polygons to study uh, interesting things such as regular tessellations, semi-regular tessellations, etc. Alrighty, I hope uh, things are making a little bit more sense. Uh, enjoy!